Hello everyone and welcome to another daily MS Office lesson. What I did in the previous Excel video was to show you how to split names apart using this really cool function on the data tab on the data tab called text to columns. But I have got to tell you, this is 2013. This isn't 2010 or 2007. This is the newest version. And I have got to show you that they have made updates like you would not believe. This is going to make you so ecstatic that you, you're you going to go out and probably treat yourself at a restaurant or whatever. Because it is easier than text to columns. It is far easier. And you, I am telling you, are going to be so ecstatic. So let me jump right into this. I am in Excel and I have a list of employee names. Now, I want to create a column to give me first names and another column to give me last names. So to do this, I'll first put some headings in here. I'll say first name right here, put first name and over here in C1, I'll put last name. And now what I'm going to do is probably widen this out a little bit so it's not doesn't look all squished. I don't like when they look squished. And now I want to format these two so they look like this one. The easiest way of doing that is to click on employee name, go up to the home tab, the home tab, and click on this format painter. So I single click on it and notice your mouse now is a little paintbrush. And I'm going to come up to first name and click and drag to last name. And you'll notice that first name and last name now look like employee name. Now, here's the cool part. Get ecstatic because I'm telling you, when you see this, you're going to say, what? I mean, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. 2013, brand new feature. It is called Flash Fill. Let's show you what it does. I notice the first name in the first employee is Phil. I am in B2 and I'm going to type his name. Phil. And I'm going to hit enter. And the second one is Wilbur. I'm going to type in. And you're thinking, no, Bob, this is not easier. You're, all you're doing is typing the names, Phil and Wilbur and Mary. No, 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 no. I am not going to type all the names. Stay with me. Watch the screen because it's going to get you excited. The next name is Wilbur. I am going to type it in. W Whoa, stop there. Look what happened. All I did is put the W for Wilbur and it automatically fills in. It knows what I'm trying to do. And it's got Wilbur and Marion and, and uh, Tylo and Jerry. Whoa. All you do at this point is hit enter and it does the rest. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let me come over to the last name. So I'm in cell C2. C2. And you see the last name on this one is Jackson. J-A-C-K-S-O-N. Enter. And the last name for the second employee is Jennings. J E. No, there it is. There it is. It on there it is. Smith and McDonald. And, ah, all you do is hit enter. I am ecstatic. I cannot believe it is that easy to split names. Just to, you don't have to go in the ribbon. You don't have to go to text to columns. Just start typing. It thinks for you. That's what I like about Excel 2013. That's what I like about the Office 2013 is that they put things in here to think ahead of schedule, to think ahead to see what you're trying to do. And it will say, wait a minute, I think you want to do this. I love it. All right. The last thing I want to do then is I don't need this first column. So I put my mouse on the letter A, left click to select the column, right click on that letter A, and then finally at the very bottom, I'm going to choose to delete this entire column. So I left click on delete. I'm just going to click on A1 and I am done. Again, thank you for 
watching this video. Please thumbs up if you like it. Um, comment down at the bottom if this has been helpful. And subscribe and more will come your way. Again, thank you and take care.